Tower Bay of Quint. Madam Speaker, this week we have two leaders doing two different things for Canadians at the gas pumps. On one hand, President Biden launched the largest release ever for the U.S. Emergency Oil Reserve and challenged oil companies to increase their oil con con contribution by 10 percent. While on the other hand, our Prime Minister caused even more payment of the pumps by hiking the carbon tax. President Biden's actions caused oil prices to decrease 7 percent, meaning he is reducing gas prices for Canadians. My question, Madam Speaker, is why is the American President doing more for Canadians at the gas pumps than their own Prime Minister? Yeah. The Honourable uh, Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Labour and then to the Minister of Environment and Climate Change. Madam Speaker, I appreciate the opportunity to speak a little bit about what our, outer, our American counterparts are doing with respect to energy transformation. In fact, the U.S. Secretary of Energy, Secretary Granholm, specifically said in reaction to the heightened gas prices from Putin's invasion of Russia that they, that they are accelerating our clean transition, which will make our country more energy independent and much less vulnerable to the whims of dictators. That is what the U.S. is doing. Frankly, we are also working to transition towards renewables, and that is an important thing to do. The Honourable Member for Kelowna Lake Country. Madam Speaker, beer, wine, cider, and spirit producers are waking up this morning in my riding of Kelowna Lake Country to an